Hi, my name is Mike Krasowitz. I'm a printmaker and painter. I was inspired by the Beat Generation artists, Jack Kerouac, Stream of Consciousness kind of things, John Cage, the early Surrealists. My first inspiration, my first uh, the thing that got me excited about making art was uh, or just early experiments. I just decided that I was a photographer, I was doing conventional things, and I remember being in my basement photographing my hands really close up to the point where the lens couldn't focus and the picture would be blurry and that was really interesting and I was making these very interesting black and white images that inspired me to kind of try experimenting and seeing what photography could be and making images that I've never seen before. I'm looking for a transcendental state by the creation of art to create a transcendental state so that I'm more of a vessel for the art as opposed to the art, me imposing my will upon the art. That's my main thrust of what I'm trying to do. What, what this is, a, this is a part of a series of pictures. And what I, can, what I did was, I was, everything I'm doing is about this stream of consciousness kind of idea where I draw totally on the, on the uh, this is drawn on the computer and I don't have any preconception when I draw any of these pictures. I just start with the shape and then I try to fill it out. So what I was doing, I started this in late 1998 where I wanted to draw a picture a day because I was, there was, this was like practicing scales. When every day I would draw a picture on the computer without thinking about it, no preconception whatsoever. It's just like practicing. So like this image, I might decide I'm just going to use a certain color palette. So I'm just going to use greens and yellows or something like that. So I keep it really cool. And then the next day I might say, all right, I wake up and I say, I'm going to try a piece that's all warm colors. And basically the image is supposedly, from, from what I'm trying to achieve, is totally stream of consciousness. What I'm trying to do is by doing it every day, get to a state where the imagery that's coming out is pure. It's coming from what, you know, I, I, I'd like to think of it as kind of universal themes that are universal to people. And by, by the process of not imposing my will or my ideas on it, that this will become a continuous process. Somebody tells you, this is right, this is wrong. This is right, this is wrong. We go through this right our whole lives, right? We, you know, we go to our church, temple, whatever it is. This is right, you repeat this thing. But what is, what is it that we're really trying to get to? We're trying to get to the truth. So if somebody tells you the truth, I mean, that's word of mouth. It's been, something been passed down generation to generation. It's, it's true for the most part. But like you're looking for what's true to me and what's true to you. The idea is that if you find out what's really true to you, that's what's universal. And that's the universal truths, and that's what we're trying to get to. And that's what art should be. And if you do that every day, and you, for a lifetime, then you're going to start reaching a state where what you're perceiving becomes transcendental and it becomes universal. I mean, I think that's it. It's simple. When I, whenever I start, I always start with, with one shape. I draw the shape, and then I might draw a second shape, and then I try to rationalize it and make it into an image that makes some sense. So I'll take this shape, I might draw this shape, so it's like a puzzle. I'll start with a few shapes and then try to build it into an image. And that's the, my method. Basically, my technique is to try to trick my conscious mind into letting my subconscious mind express itself. So by going into a more of a meditative state when I work, the, the work will materialize. And it's not like I'm not drawing it, it's not coming out of the magic land, it's coming out of my subconscious. 
but my subconscious knows that I'm, on my conscious level, I'm trying to let it breathe in a way. I'm trying to let it express itself. Um, thank you for letting me speak about my work. If you'd like to see any other work of mine, my website is www.mcraz.com. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.